if, if I'm not preaching, if I'm not doing missions, my, my, my passion in the revelation God gave me was in household salvation. Every man in our family was an alcoholic for 200 years. Uh, Two young boys came to our town in Scotland, wow. had 96 converts in six weeks. 67 of them were Camerons. And God gave me a revelation of wow. this and a vision. And in, in this vision, I, I saw people falling into hell. And I'll just I'll go to the point that I, I want to bring up. And from that vision of hell, people, damn people screaming, it changed my life. Mm. But from there, God took me by my hand wow. into a field. Now listen to this. And in the field, it was beautiful. It was different than I'd seen this, this cascading folk going to hell. And I says, where is this? And he says, this, is, this field is your life. And there's, all my family were there. And it was, it was just wonderful to feel the, the, the relief from mm. the horrors of the... the moving platform of people falling into hell. And in the middle of my field, my Beautiful. cousin Michael was, was sitting and he had chains around his neck. And there was silver chains and I followed the chains along the ground and to my utter horror, the devil was holding these two chains. And I looked, I looked at the, the Lord Jesus in this vision and I said, the devil's in my field. And this is what the Lord said to me. It's your field. I have given you authority over your yes. field. field. And when you understand that your life has been given to you by God and that yes. the field of your life, your family, your business, your church, whatever it is that's in your field, that is your occupying yes. spot. That is the place where yes. God has ordained and anointed you to be. Yes. He hasn't called everyone to Moldova. He hasn't called. Let me tell you where you're called to. Right. He has called you to the place that you are occupying right now. Yes. And as yes. Keith just said, listen, Powerful. Until, yeah. until the miracle happens, we can't all be sitting like this. Yes, yes. We've got to occupy and possess the land from yeah. Jordan to the sea. Yeah. We've got to say, God, if this is the situation we find ourselves in, in the political sphere, okay then, we're going to work from where we are right now. And I believe the darker yes, the night, and the night is going to get darker, trust me, you're going to hear and yeah. see stuff that will make your blood boil. And, and believe me, they're going to come out with stuff in the next few years, months and years, that will, that will horrify you because they are being motivated by powers of darkness. But you don't stand there and say, oh, well, then it's, well, okay. No, 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 no. This right. is the time for the church mm -hmm. to be the church. Yes. This is the time for us to stand up and say, I am not ashamed yeah. of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, yes. for it is the power of God unto salvation. Yes. And the more powerful, if, if you're a pastor watching us today, oh, if you're a Christian yes. watching us today, listen to me. In this uncertain world we're living in, the thing that's more needed than anything else, someone to stand up and say, this is the way, walk ye in it. Yes. And the moment that you occupy yes. the space that God has put you into, I promise you, people who are double-minded, people who are unsure of themselves, are going to look at you and say, can I come with you, please? Can I, can I follow you? And you have the power, the, the, the power of yes. life and death is in your tongue. And you have the authority, Pastor Friend. You have the authority, Mom, in your family. Your family doesn't have to go to hell. Dad, God wants to save your whole family. And if you stand up and say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Yes. You've just occupied that space. You've just taken the authority yes. away from the devil. And you said to him, get out of my field. Get out of my field. My, my cousin Michael, in the vision, was held by chains. He died a couple of years ago as a missionary in the Philippine Islands. And he was lost. Hallelujah. He was lost. You have no concept mm. how, how much darkness he was in. And I began to pray for him because that was my faith point in my field. And I would pray. I said, God, I demand you let Michael go in Jesus' name. Get, get those chains off Michael's necks. And he ended up being a missionary and died on the mission field in the Philippines. Wow. So you wow. have a space that God wants you to occupy yes. today. Don't yes. sit down and think, oh, well, oh, the election do, didn't go the way it is, or this is wrong and that's wrong. Get up and stand up yes. 
and be counted in these days. Don't, they're a Scottish yeah, word. Yeah. I don't know of an equivalent in American English. We call it mealy mouth. Do you have that? Do you say that, Keith, in, in, in America? Oh, yeah. Mealy mouth? I do. I, I was, I have a lot well, of Scottish in my family. So I if can, we do say There you go. Yeah. Well, with a first name like Keith, <laughs> I, Keith is where the area I come from in Scotland. Keith is, if, oh, yeah. That, Marshall Keith built a castle about a mile from my mom's house. But what I'm saying really? is, is, don't be mealy mouthed. Stand up for what you believe. Mm -hmm. And instead of saying, well, I'll just move over here and, and, and homosexuality is okay and this is okay and we'll do this and that's fine. Yeah. Stand up and say, hold on a second. Yes. I believe the, the, the report of the Lord. And when you do that, yes, you, you become the occupier. You don't become the tenant. Yes. You become the occupier, the owner of the space.